Hello and welcome to a full 2021 month by month energy and star sign reading or a month by month full breakdown breakdown. So what we will do uh, <laughs> can't talk. What we will do is we look at your star sign, your individual star sign, month by month by month and see what we can um, ascertain about 2021. Um, to give you, in a way, not only a better idea of what's to come, but also hopefully equip you by giving you a uh, heads up um, with ideas how to prepare, or, uh, yeah, it's probably the best way to say it, uh, how to prepare for situations that, that, that may arise, okay? What will happen is this. As you know, if you are um, a subscriber or a regular viewer, everything has an overall energy. And so before we go into your star sign and look at months by months by months what's going on, we will still have to look at the overall energy, which is what we're doing now. Now, the overall energy for 2021 applies to all star signs. So should you be a person that says, I'm that star sign, and then I'm going to watch this for my friend, who is that star sign. Um, you will notice that the overall energy video, this, this little clip before we go into the individual star signs, has been used for all the 12 star signs, because the overall energy simply doesn't change <laughs> for uh, from star sign to star sign. What does change is obviously the energy within the star sign. Speaking of which, um, the monthly um, videos that we do, uh, well, I should probably rephrase that, the weekly videos that I normally record with or without guests will continue because as nice as this is to have a look at projecting based on the energy that the guides give us, um, when we do um, a weekly video, it is a tad more specific and maybe a tad deeper so don't miss this please subscribe please share um, if that makes sense so and now we're looking at the overall energy for 2021 since this is a long year um, we're gonna break this up a little so we're looking into what the energy of the year is actually going to be like and see what the guides tell us <clears throat> because it might just change again uh, with the seasons and then we look into um, all the other things like, you know, what, what can you expect uh, with um, regards to any uh, business ventures you want to undertake, um, love, and then whatever else the guides bring, bring up, if that makes sense. So let's have a look at what we can expect from 2021 to begin with, if that makes sense, right? Let's have a look. <laughs> okay, 2021, energetically speaking, feels or will be actually much better than 2020. Well, that's easy because 2020, by all accounts, was absolute shit. <laughs> right? So here's what the guys tell us about 2020. What they're asking us to do is to remember that as someone spiritual, you will have realized already that you create your energy and if you make life the best it can be, that also filters down to anyone and everyone you meet. And that's what the guides are saying to you. In 2021, new portals will actually open. This will be a much more spiritual year. This will be a year where we connect much better to our guides, which is also needed because don't be a sheeple. Seriously, pay attention. Feel what's going on, uh, on on the planet, right? And bring your energy to the world to um, counterbalance any panic that you see around you, you know, um, the negativity that, that, that is sort of unfortunately happening in this, in this world. Really, really important, but new doors will be open, will be opening, really, really important. 
And when new doors are open, you still have to decide whether or not you want to walk through. And that's what the guides are saying. Be a bit of a wild card in 2021. Try new things because they will be rewarding and you will be rewarded, if that makes sense. It sounds a bit weird, but that's just how my guides phrase it, for your bravery. So, and then the most important thing as the energy for 2021 is for all of us, including myself, everybody, you know, it's the overall energy, you know, is to, so this is what the, what, what the, 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 the card says, and I think it's quite nice, surrender to the sweetness of life. So you create your own energy, keep your energy high, love life, embrace life, and bring that energy to 2021. Um, it's not really rocket science, but what they're saying to you is, or to us is, and we will have a look obviously uh, a little bit deeper into 2021 in a minute, but because the overall energy tells us that it is up to us individually to bring about an energy shift, it's not the easiest thing to do. And, and where do you start? You start with yourself. You start with saying like, yay, life is great. And you do all your weird things that crack you up. Really important if you, you know, have reasons to crack up in the morning. I've been doing this for years. I just do something silly in the morning and it cracks me up. No end. <laughs> and um, and it, it, it works for me. Because 2021, energetically speaking, is actually a year of pleasure. A year of joy, which we so badly need. Now, that doesn't mean that the, the governments of this world um, won't continue uh, scaremongering, you know, rolling out vaccinations and scaring the shit out of people, <laughs> right? Or coming up with new restrictions. <clears throat> Who knows? The point the guides are making is, even though you may not be able to change what a country, let's just say, imposes on you, within all that, you can make an awful lot of change. And they're saying to you, the higher your energy is, the more joy you feel. Um, and, and 2021 will support that. This is a year of joy. So it's like, yeah, and we got this. And so the energy will be reflecting that very idea of, of having f fun, having joy, having pleasure. Because that creates high energy. And the higher the energy, the easier it is to make changes, to bring changes to the life <coughs> we're all living, or to the lives we're all living, right? So the reason why this is a bit vague is because everything is always in flux. So when people say like, oh, that's, that's definitely what's going to happen in 2021, my experience is that you can never really uh, say like, that's definitely what's going to happen because you, ha you also have free will. You could, personally, decide against it. If that makes sense. So this is overall energy. And again, within it, you have to see what's what's going on. Um, it will be much clearer. We'll get much clearer, I suppose, um, when we look at the individual star signs anyway. Um, when we look at, you know, what's, what's going on there. But let's just have a look at certain things for 2021. And people somehow, you know, somehow feel, seem to be really interested in... in in their their businesses i want to be more successful and i get that but success is a weird thing in that it doesn't necessarily define you what it probably brings you is this financial stability and maybe allows you to do what you want to do and that's all good and we're going to look at this but energetically speaking it is much more important that you as a spiritual being trapped in a body <laughs> so to speak um, have a sense of belonging and a sense of being loved so let's just look at what 2021 holds for us on a on an emotional level um, with regards to To yeah, yeah, to be to to love and being to being loved, right? So we have the totem, the dove, and the cat. Interesting, because remember, in the beginning of this um, 
video, the guides were saying that new portals are opening and that it is important that you make it your, your own. And totem, for want of a better word, means family, means tribe. So 2021 is the year, and this is awesome, where you will find your tribe and where should you have already found it. Relationships within your tribe are much better, which also means that relationships on a love, uh, um, love level um, will get much more solidified, which is really, really good. And there's a couple of interesting things because you have the dove and, and the cat. So what they're, oh, this is again, you know, you have free will, that's, so that's why I see this as a suggestion. Um, even, but it's based on the fact that the energy supports that. Because we have the dove and the cat with regards to love and being loved and belonging somewhere, right? Be peaceful. Don't argue because it's a, dif it's a difference between mm, speaking your mind, speaking your truth, expressing yourself and getting irate and angry and upset about it, which ultimately lowers the energy a little. Well, if, there, if an argument is heated or, or, com or even a conversation is heated, energy always suffers a bit. <laughs> but what they're saying is in 2021, just pay attention to your energy at all times. And because we're talking about love and being loved and the feeling of, you know, how do I, how do I, how do I keep this up? How do I make sure that the person I love is supported by me? And the person I love or the people I love support me. And this may or may not be surprising to some of you because we have the cat. And what they're saying is in any relationship, and that includes work, but we're not talking about work now, we're talking about love. In any relationship, it is important that you remain yourself. And because you have the cat, what they're saying is, do your own thing as well, right? Make time for relationships. I also have the feeling we have to sort of, in a way, prioritize our relationships. So it's not that you can just do whatever the heck you want, well, you could, but you know, you do whatever the heck you want and then you wonder why the relationship is falling apart. So they ask me to pay attention to the, to the needs, if that makes sense, of the relationship. You know, maybe it is important that the, the, the people or the partner you're with um, needs a bit more of your time, right? So give that. At the same time, the cat is basically saying to you, if you are a person that has a hobby, if you are a person that, that um, works spiritually and therefore, you know, or, or, or even if you work as, as anything, <laughs> um, that is sort of your thing, sort of self-employed. Um, or if you work for the better for the betterment of people, society, you know, all that kind of stuff, you will need time to look at what you're doing, um, <clears throat> fire, you know, come up with new ideas, all these kind of things. So what the guides are saying is, be the cat, remove yourself at times, and because this is your energy for the year, your partner will very likely or should really do the same and you can expect them to understand that you can't sit 24 7 uh, every single day with them on the couch and cuddle as nice as this is because you have a life to live and there are certain times in your life where the way you plan your life and the things you do in life may not meet the interests of your partner. And so this is not about compromising. This is about saying like, okay, I, this is what I enjoy doing as well. And just make space for this and um, be, be upfront about it. Don't try to hide something and don't try to, um, you know, don't let this become an issue, if that makes sense. But it is important that you have a little bit of, well, actually, because we have to get more than just a little bit of um of self-sustained me time within your relationships right okay so that's really 
that's 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 really well, yeah, what it is for twenty twenty one with regards to love. We quickly go into <coughs> work and business and all these kind of things. My feeling is I don't want to do half an hour just on the overall energy because that can be tedious in the fact that it is much more interesting to you if we look at your star sign and what it will bring months by months by months. But it is important to overall see if there's actually opportunities coming or not. So we're looking at opportunities for 2021 with regards to anything that is um, related to um, work and income and all that kind of stuff. And what the guides are saying to you is that we have to, you have to, you ought to balance spirituality and practicality. So you are a spiritual person and new opportunities will come to you because your energy is, is powerful, is awesome. But you have to also learn to realize that um, sitting under a tree doing um, hugging 25,000 trees is awesome, but it doesn't sustain you with regards to you know paying rent and all that kind of stuff. And what they're saying is, but balance it out. Best case scenario, and this has always been my take on it because I've had this life where I worked in many massively big companies um, and then I've been fully, full-time self-employed since 2009. Before that, I was part-time self-employed, if that makes sense. But since 2009, I've been not, I, I haven't been doing anything else but what I came here to do. So I feel incredibly blessed and that's what the guides are saying is if 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 you find it difficult to balance out spirituality and practicality then 2021 because this is one of the opportunities that they're talking about is the year where if you focus on that's what i want to do i want to be that person i want to be me then that's what the guides will support and then we have and this is interesting surrender to the divine says it all, trust that there is no coincidence, trust that your life has purpose, trust that there's guides around you that help you with everything. So don't get too upset about things. There will always be a million, a million and one ways to tweak things and to get somewhere. But with regards to opportunities that lead to... Um, a more secure life, if that makes sense. What the guides are saying is surrender to the divine opportunities will arise. Look at them for what they are. And first and foremost, um, remember we're living in a world where a lot of people really, unfortunately, are not all that awake. Um, they don't feel themselves, don't understand what is out there in the universe that could help them. They don't ask for guidance. They don't ask for help. And you are a person that has that down to a T. And so what the guides are saying is you're not here to save everybody. Even if you do spiritual work for a living, you can only offer if people take it, that's fine. If they ultimately are not there yet, there's not much you can do or should be doing because people have to be ready before they take that journey, if that makes sense. And all you can do is provide that lifeline that gets them there. So <clears throat> that's what, 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 what 2021 is energetically. Um, what I'm getting is before we, we sort of close down the overall energy and go into your individual uh, year, is to realize that spirituality being the best version you can be is exactly what is needed for 2021. And I believe, based on the energy that I'm getting, this is really about a counterbalance, creating a counterbalance to all the things that are happening in the world. You know, everybody, I think the only topic really in 2020 was, was, was bloody COVID, right? And um, all that kind of stuff, which obviously puts a big damper 
dampener on all of us. And then look at how many businesses have suffered because of it. Look how many restrictions there are. Um, people become more isolated and have become more isolated, which is not good, if that makes sense. And that's what the guy said earlier. Tribe. You will find your tribe and you are part of the tribe. And so you, with your high energy, allow your tribe to do more than they were able to previously. So overall, the energy of 2021 is really high and it's a kick-ass energy. It's like do energy. It's not a do or die energy, but it's an energy where, they, where they're saying like, you know, we're sending you opportunities, but if you can sit there, I can't see them. Yeah, well, then you can't see them, right? Be proactive, be out there, have high energy, right? Do things and doers always do best, okay? So that was the overall energy. Remember, you will see this little clip for all or for all in, in all the 12 videos for the star signs because the overall energy applies to all star signs, therefore never changes, right? So, okay, that was that. And now we're looking into your own month by month breakdown, if the, for want of a better word, of your individual star sign. Yeah, let's do that. Sagittarians, hello. Let's have a look at your 2021 months by months, starting with, of course, <laughs> January 2021. Let's see what the guides have got for you. January 2021 for Sagittarians is a time for you to pat your back on the, pat yourself on the back and saying, yeah, I have made so much progress in my life. And I keep making progress. I'm good. Life is good. That's the main message for January is to acknowledge all your achievements to yourself. And also you are the, be be the builder of bridges, which means you are a person that always looks out for others, wants to help trying to keep the peace, trying to keep things together. And so that takes an awful lot of energy. And so what the guides are saying to you, this is nice that you are that person that wants to make sure that everybody you love and everyone you, you work with is safe and that there's harmony everywhere. <clears throat> and that's another thing they just want you to acknowledge for January 2021 that you are that person and realize that this is one hell of a job and not everybody could do that, right? So that's your January. Going into February, we're looking at the star sign of Sagittarius, your 2021 months by months, rundown, breakdown, countdown, whatever you want to call it, not a countdown, it's just an assessment of each month. In February, you are in charge of everything and anything that happens to you. What the guides are saying is your energy energy in, in, in um, 2021 for Sagittarians is quite high. And come February after in January you realized your self-worth. In 2021, no matter what life throws at you, be in charge. Make sure you realize the leadership that you have, the leadership skills that you have, and um, be in charge because no matter how you feel in February 2021, what the guides are saying to you, you will be fully protected by the guides and you will succeed. So use the beginning of the year 2021 to look into what it is you want to achieve in the year and manifest accordingly. Really, really important. So. 
going into March 2021, we're looking at the star sign of Sagittarius. And the good news continue, because in March, again you have the wolf that tells you that you are not only in charge, but that you are quite the pack animal and that you have no problem running things. And yet, in March they're saying to you, because you have not only the wolf, you also have the cat, what they're saying to you is just make sure that with all the hustle and bustle that is happening in your life, or that you may even be creating in your life, you every now and then need to allow yourself to have some me time and just, you know, uh, excuse yourself for a bit, if that makes sense. So you're not leaving anyone behind, you're not abandoning anybody. All they're saying is, come March, um, remember that you also could do with a little bit of me time just to relax a little and maybe recover from all the stresses that the years throws at you. That was March. Going into April, we're looking at the star sign of Sagittarius. In April 2021, your past will revisit you. So things from the past, either in the form of people or in the form of memories, will come to you and will upset you. Okay? So um, you will deal with either um, memories or with um, people from way back when that make contact again uh, in April. And all the guides are saying is you are fully protected. You, you're very safe. Right? Um, you are not the same person you were all these years ago. And they're asking you to realize you don't live in the past. So if you feel that the, the visits the visits from the past aren't welcome, then make yourself known, if that makes sense. Should it be any painful memories uh, triggered by maybe a um, family meeting or family gathering of sorts, or just because you may be on the phone to someone from your family, um, then remember you don't live in the past. You are in the now and that's where you should stay and manifest your future. Okie dokie, that was April, going into May 2021, we're looking at the star sign of, yeah, right, Sagittarius. The energy of the year um, so far is quite high for Sagittarians. So remember this, this is a kick-ass year, you do quite a lot, and in May, it's no different. What the guides are saying to you is in May, again, no matter what life throws at you, you will just be fine. But in May, they're asking you um, to put some boundaries in place. Sometimes you just run everything and some people just run with you, but they run amok. <laughs> and all the guides are saying is it's good. While you are progressing with your life and while you want to achieve things in your life, Make sure that people and situations around you have boundaries. The feeling is that you have to put people in their place. Um, not everybody is a bad person. And sometimes they still need to be put into their place. Even people who are nice can be too much sometimes. That was your May going into June 2021. We're looking at the star sign of Sagittarius. Oh, are you getting quite... Um, a lot of information. This time, normally the guides give me two animal guides. You have four. So then, let's look at your June 2025, 2021. Why am I with 2025? In the year 25, 25. Don't mind me. <laughs> it's the year 2021 we're looking at. The month of June. The feeling that I'm getting is because you have four uh, animal guides and yet the guides separate that a little. So I, I talk you through the first part of it and then use the second I, because I don't know how connected they are yet it is all for the same months of June 2021. You have the barn owl and the coyote. So what the guides are saying is the barn owl, here's the mouse in the undergrowth. So your goal is right in front of you and you will go there without getting caught 
in the undergrowth and yet should for whatever reason June not continue to be quite as prolific as previous months maybe as a bit of a halt in, in progression and in opportunities. The guides are saying to you you have the coyote which is a very skilled scavenger. He knows there's always food for him to find and that's the message to you in June should I have to say should because this is obviously directed to, to Sagittarians and not everyone is in that same boat, if that makes sense. But the feeling is that um, in June, June is a little bit of a slower month, not slow as such, but a bit slower than let's just say uh, May was. And, um, and the guides are saying to you, is, you know, don't lose your cool just because things may feel a little bit halted. You will just be fine. Right? So that was the first part, which is about what you are going to do um, with your ambitions. While the second part, now that I had some time to separate this, I get this a bit clearer, uh, for June 2021 for Sagittarians, is really about how you manifest your happiness in all things. So you have the frog and the turtle. What they're saying is you need to realize if you are stressed by life, you are a frog. The message is the frog is an amphibian. He can live on land and on water. Uh, so that translates into no matter what happens to you, you don't have to stay in one place. You could be very happy elsewhere um, and create a new life or continue your life elsewhere. That is all possible. So think about where in life you are stuck but because you have the turtle next when it comes to making changes don't make them all at once right assess your life am i happy with what i got right would i or would i rather be somewhere else and then if there are changes to be made think about them very well and don't rush anything okay that was your June 2021. You're looking at the star sign of Sagittarius, looking at the month of July now. Okay. Because you will look at what needs to change in June of 2021. In July, what the guides are saying is changes are happening. And you have the raccoon and the mouse. And the raccoon is saying to you, it doesn't matter how things pan out, you will adopt just fine. So if anyone is trying to put you under pressure, don't listen to that. This is just their way of keeping you in your place or somehow uh, make you feel less powerful um, and all the guys are saying is you can adopt the situations superbly in July and you have the mouse which basically has the message that you see things exactly the way you are trust your intuition in July right short and sweet that's half a year done wow <laughs> going into August 2021 for the star sign of Sagittarius. Right, August. While it still continues, life, I mean, while life still continues to not be a problem for you with regards to whatever life throws at you, <clears throat> come August, the guides are saying to you, just because you manage to deal with everything in your life in august they're asking you to look at what change did to you how you feel inside um because the the the, the message of the message in um, august is for you to begin to heal look at what needs to to be healed step back a little and begin to heal okay that was August, going into September 2021. Yes, 
See, it is really important that you that you pay attention to these messages. Because when they ask you in August to step back a little, they mean it. Because in September is the month where you will not feel like you're in charge and where you will actually feel a little bit boxed in. And in September is also a month where you will feel misunderstood. So September, all, and I said he's speaking for all intents and purposes here, um, feels like this is going to be the month uh, for in, in the year of 2021, September, um, that make you question everything. And even though I don't get the feeling um, that you have to worry, about a lot of things you're still very much in charge your life is not falling apart even if you feel it is it is not falling apart but because there are things that are not as easily fixable as you may be accustomed to um, you need to realize okay right now we're not getting anywhere and that makes me vulnerable and you will get through this okay but allow yourself to be vulnerable, don't panic, okay? That was September, going into October 2021. We're looking at the star sign of Sagittarians. Interesting, because in October, while you still feel boxed in, while you still feel not sure why I'm not getting there fully, in October, the guide says to you, don't worry, do not worry. There will, there's nothing that will fall apart. There's nothing that you will lose at all. In October, you should probably reflect, sounds a bit weird, on what you have, because then you will realize that life is not as difficult as it feels when you look into it from the outside. Okay, that's October. Going into November. November 2021, we're looking at the star sign of Sagittarians. Okay, you have the kid fox in November and the wolverine. So the kid fox is another animal that is that has it's an animal that lives in the in the in the desert. And, and the message in the desert is always that there's just not that many opportunities there. And um, because that's where he lives, he can't just you know, up and leave. <clears throat> so what the guys are saying to you in November, Sagittarians, is that you will continue to feel boxed in, continue to feel semi-trapped. And again, what the guides are saying to you is don't panic. Remember that in, within all these issues that, that, that slowly Will that they will be resolved slowly or that so slowly resolve themselves because that's the feeling I'm getting. Um, you're still making you're still making steady progress, right? So don't panic if things take longer, especially with regards to changing situations, because that's what I'm getting. That once you start looking at situations where you feel like this is not what I had in mind when I agreed to work here or when I agree to live with you, all these kind of things. Um, it feels like it will not be as easy um, to change them all quickly, right? And yet the guides are saying to you as well, so be it, okay? Going into your last months, we're looking at the star sign of Sagittarians. This is your December. In December, you have the totem and the horse. and the, the, the totem is another term for family, for tribe, for your group. And the horse is the animal that needs to run free every now and then. So what the message is for you, even though this is Christmas month and a very traditional kind or type of uh, or month of the year, very traditional. What the guides are saying to you is you are a very strong person. And in December of 2021, the guides are asking you to actually step back from everything, maybe go on a holiday, all by your lonesome. Maybe just spend a lot of time without people that add to your difficulties, right? That's it. That's all 
I got for you. I need to stress this because as you noticed, it sort of started around August, September, that all of a sudden the, 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 the high that you had all year before that uh, ebbed uh, um, a little. Um, wasn't, life wasn't quite, isn't quite a lot, wasn't quite flowing or will, will not be as flowing because obviously I'm recording this in December 2020 and we're talking about your future. So while come September things feel difficult and may stay difficult for the rest of the year to the extent that you even think um, around December I just really need some time on my own. The energy in 2021 for Sagittarians is not a low energy at any given time. You never, you're never stuck. You never reach rock bottom. Even though when the guides say it like this, it feels rather harsh. And I wouldn't say that it is, that it is not difficult. But they want to remind you that you are nowhere near collapsing. And nowhere near losing things. Nowhere near feeling like, what the heck is going on here? You are still in charge of your life. And you will manage just fine. Okay? Sagittarians, thank you so much. Please share this video with all the other Sagittarians that you know. Also, I cannot stress this enough, as nice as this is that I have recorded 12 um, uh, annual videos for 2021, which as you can imagine is quite a bit of work, I have noticed while I am recording these things that even though, yes, it is great to have an idea what the, what the, what the year holds, actually really quite good, and yet it is, to me, in my experience with, with recording videos for you guys, is that the weekly videos tend to go deeper into matters. And because um, here we're looking at an annual energy um, and looking at, at what is happening within the month rather than looking it, it into the overall energy of a month as well, um, it makes a lot of sense for you to subscribe to the channel here follow me on facebook energy and star sign readings and really pay attention um, to the weekly readings that i do because i noticed is it i noticed that they are by default just deeper and a bit more dare i say it helpful okay there's nothing wrong with having a full year in advance um, where you can prepare therefore, which is perfect, <clears throat> because that's the whole idea. You can look at things and prepare um, and get some heads up. <coughs> and yet my feeling is that the videos that I do weekly in my, uh, in my book are still more important than having a full year at your disposal. Okie dokie. It was lovely talking to you, Sagittarians. See you very soon. Bye-bye.